Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. We have another game and guess what? It's Mark against me this time around. Fight! Fight! Big fights! Going down! <laughs> Cue Paul's clip. <laughs> okay, so, so uh, I'm hoping I can keep the streak alive, but I don't know because there's, Mark's got to break out of it sooner or later. I have a feeling he's I, due. I, I, I just he's hope due. it's not me. So what, All is, right. what are we playing? Mark, uh, wait, Paul. Roll the intro, and then we'll come back. We're playing trivia. Okay, so we're going to do a speed round uh, trivia. Okay. okay, and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you a question. Speed is not my strong suit. Okay, you know, it's not speed. You, you know, take five, ten seconds to answer. It's fine. You don't have to ring the buzzers first or anything. Question to you. Question to Don. Okay. Okay. Can I ring the buzzer if I want to? Sure. Okay. Mark. Yes. Complete the name of this time travel movie starring Michael J. Fox. Back to the future. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. There, point for Mark. Point. He's off to a roaring start. If we stop right now, <laughs> I've won. That's right. Uncle Donnie. Okay. Who won the 1993 Oscar for Best Cinematography for A River Runs Through It? I don't know. You sure? Mm -hmm. Philip Russelo. Mm -hmm. All right, Mark's in the lead. Mark, TV question. Yep. Complete the lyrics to this popular children's TV theme song. Can you tell me how to get, how to get to... Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's doing well. Okay, done. Okay. How much money did Venom gross worldwide on a budget of a hundred million? Uh, 979 million. No, 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 no. 850. <laughs> What's the matter, Mark? Give him another question. You can't Mark, get them all right. What is the name of the blonde female? <laughs> I'm sorry, what was that again? <laughs> What's the name of the blonde female Smurf? Smurfette. Excellent. Don, Three how- for me! <laughs> how tall is Robert Downey Jr.? Five seven! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> I think Mark has won a game. <laughs> I think we set Mark up. <laughs> and I think he realized it by question two. Ay, caramba. I wanted him to ask you what other question it was. Uh, on the YouTube channel, Critical Mass, <laughs> Paul and Mark are part of three people. Who's the other person? And, uh, yeah. Okay. In, in case you're wondering, that was, yeah, we just had to set Mark up. Yeah. Just, well, just, just to make him feel better. I'm counting it as a win. <laughs> okay. Now. <laughs> Well, let's roll that intro and start again. Oh, that was good. What was going through your head when you heard that question? I was like, how simple are these questions going to be? There's a famous space exploring then, movie called Star... And then, and then, we, and then when you get to question two, it is such a tourist job. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. What is the economical uh. background of... Uh. Mark. Finish the next word. Clever. Okay, clever. Tom Crook. <laughs> Crook. <laughs> okay, so maybe explain what this is all about now, Bob. Okay. So we're going to have 
a trivia quiz of 10 questions each, 10 to Mark, 10 to Don. And if I give Mark a question about a specific movie, Don will have a question about that same movie. Oof. So 10 movies, 10 questions for each of you. Okay. Okay. Don't worry about buzzing in first. Each question is to a specific person. All right. Okay. Whew. Mark. Yes. In the movie Avatar, what mineral are they mining? Unobtainium. Yes, that's correct. It starts easy. <laughs> <laughs> it starts hard. Yeah, mine's not going to be easy. You watch. How much unobtainium in the movie Avatar sells for $20 million? One ounce. Ah, sorry. One kilogram. Oh, that's you had to name unobtainium. <laughs> I had to name a amount of unobtainium oh, in a price range. Somebody's getting salty. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still think we're playing the game the easy questions to Mark. Mark. Mm -hmm. What phrase does Doc always use when he thinks of something or a problem occurs? Great Scott! That's correct. So his favorite movie, by the way. Uncle Don. Which Huey Lewis and the News song is featured in Back to the Future? I'm horrible with songs. Oh, can I steal it? No, you can't steal. No. Um, Power of Love. That's <laughs> correct. Whew. I'm horrible with songs. Mark. And also, gotta get back in time. It wasn't a big hit, though. Yeah, but it was there. Mark. Which actor or character in 2001 Fellowship of the Ring was the only person in the movie to have actually met J.R.R. Tolkien? Frodo? Christopher Lee, okay. Saruman. Right. Lord of the Rings, here we go. Which actor that is part of the Fellowship is the tallest. Gandalf. <laughs> John Rice Davies. He's, he's Gimli the Dwarf. He said character. I can say the character. <clears throat> well, he said part of the fellowship, though. Well, he's, he's kind part of the. Part of, he's yeah, the, not like really. the mentor. He's, there, the yeah. he's in the movie, I guess. Okay. All right. Yeah. Daniel Craig and Javier Bardem bonded on the set over their shared love of which sport, which they both played when they were younger? Soccer. Wait. <laughs> football. Rugby. Which is the same thing. It's like <laughs> soccer and no football mix. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, you're going to have to think for this one. Skyfall was the third consecutive film to end with Bond being without one of these. The third consecutive Bond, Bond film, Skyfall. Most of the other movies ended with Bond uh, having something. A, having that's... sex with a girl. A girl. <laughs> well, no, but that's a... Any specific kind of girl? How many hints are you going to give him? Well, he's like, just, he got the right answer, though. Yeah. But you gave him hints for it. No, it, At the end. Every, every movie he ends in bed with a girl and they, they come across him, and in the end of these three movies, he doesn't. Okay, so uh, the answer is a Bond girl. Yeah. Okay. Mark. Dom DeLuise's character in Cannonball Run has two alter egos. Name one. Superhero. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Him. <laughs> Could be one. Captain Chaos. Captain Chaos is a superhero. Captain USA. And Captain USA is a superhero. <laughs> and so is Iron Man. And so is Batman. <laughs> I was right. He had a cape. Okay, another and a mask. Another cannonball uh, run oh, question. Oh. In the scene where a brawl with a biker gang breaks out, who is the only character who wants to stay and fight the bikers when it clears up? Oh, um, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, yes. And you know 
Jackie Chan plays a character named what? Oh, I can't remember his name. He plays a character named Jackie Chan. Oh, okay. Oh, he plays himself, yeah. And, he, and he's in the movie with the guy who plays Jaws from all the Bond movies. Okay. You like Die Hard. Yeah. Here you go. Who played Hans Gruber in Die Hard? Oh, character. I'm not good with names. Why don't you tell me the character, like his real name, and I'll tell you his character. <laughs> You want to answer it for him? No. I like to leave him in yeah, the I don't think you know I it I don't. Then. Off the top of my head. <laughs> He's making funny. He's also uh, Snape. Who is it? Hmm? Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. I just can't think of the name. Hans Gruber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which company does Holly McLean work for? Nakasami Tower? Na Nakasami? No, uh, not close enough. I, I think it, it is close enough. No. What is it? You don't know, so what are you saying no for? No, that's, that's not what it is, though. It's, it's Nakatomi Corp. Nakatomi. Nakatomi. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to give it to you. Yeah? Yeah. Because it all the tower okay, is see, Nakatomi see them, Tower. See them stack in the deck. Stack in that deck. By getting the answers right. <laughs> okay. Who was the character that came back from 2029 to warn Sarah in the movie Terminator? Um, Kyle Reese. Yes, I would not have gotten that. I would have said John Connor. I don't know. I've been wrong. John Connor. <laughs> I know. I know. He's a kid, but that's the only boy Son. name that came in. What city is the Terminator set in? The first Terminator? Yes. Or Terminator 2? First Terminator. Oof. Los Angeles? Yes. All right. Because everything is set in Los Angeles. Uh, it could have been New York, the first one, so I, that's why I was wondering. Smart. Mm -hmm. What year was Jaws released? 78? Oh. 77? 75. 75. <laughs> I just said 73, so I just went off to. Okay. Who composed the famous theme? Dum 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 dum. I have no idea. John Williams. John Williams. Not a big composer person. So so far, after eight questions, Don has five points. You have three points. But there's two questions remaining. You, you could tie it up. How do I only have three points? I feel like I've answered more than three questions. You have. You have answered them wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or done this. Ask me who Hans Gruber is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay. Which movie had King of the Kalahari as a potential title? <laughs> King of the Kalahari. The answer is The Lion King. Oh, is that right? Well, Kalahari Desert, yeah. Lion King, King. Yeah, I should have gotten that. Okay. Uh, honestly, though, I think they made the right call. <laughs> you think? Yeah. Okay, the opening to The Lion King was originally a narrator introducing the main characters until the directors heard what song? <laughs> we get the whole uh, thing? No, 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 no. I can hear the song. I can't think that I already won, so I don't care. Go. You sure? Yeah. yeah. Circle I, of Life. Circle of Life. Okay. The only song I can't think of the name of in that whole in that movie. I couldn't think of Donna. I can think of that. Love Tonight. I can think of them all. Can't think of that one. Is there another question? There is one more. There's one more <clears throat> each. And But yours happens to be worth two points. <laughs> Wrong. Fantastic. <laughs> in Toy Story. <laughs> The animation team perfected the way these characters walk by nailing shoes to a board and trying to walk with them. The little green army men. Yes, the toy soldiers. Wow, two points. That uh, wrong. You can't change the scoring points at the end. Toy Story. Toy Story. It's a yes or no question. <laughs> 
Was Toy Story the world's first computer animated motion picture? No. Yes, it was. I think the uh, animated light bulb came before Toy Story. Motion picture, I said. Well, not pic clip. Pixar, <laughs> Pixar did it. So that's what I thought. that was actually the first computer animated motion picture. So you're still picture. wrong. Yeah. But either way, you only got one point for that. You still lose five to four. One, two, three, four, four. five. Yeah, it's not two points. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Wrong. Tie game. Okay, Don wins this by one point. <laughs> the streak is alive! <laughs> I seriously thought you had a chance, but I don't know what I was thinking. The Hans Gruber <laughs> one, I, I should have known the Rickman as don't well. Don't forget, but... he had some questionable answers that you fed him, Nak you let him try Nakatomi Tower and also Nakatomi. Nakatomi, Nakatomi. Nakatomi instead of... Instead of Nakatomi, and it was uh, and, and the, the, Jane, Bond the, the Bond girl. When I said what the what it was, he always ends with a girl. Just because they call her a Bond girl doesn't mean she was the Bond girl of the movie. No, there no, are other Bond before, girls in the movie. Before you even said, "Oh, it was with a girl," Paul had continued and said, "At the end of each movie." Well, that was the question. No, 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 no. He asked the question, and then you were like. I don't know. And then he said, oh, at the end of each... I'm, you'll see. Go back and watch I'm, and you'll see. I'm sensing salt. Sa sour grapes <laughs> or something. Mm, 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 the sour, soury taste in Mark's mouth. When Paul <laughs> says salt, I want you to... Well. Well. There we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, congratulations, Mark. You came close. You really did. You, you came close. Not on the first trivia one we did a little while ago, but on this one you came close. It was. It was close. It was. Mm -hmm. Five to four. Well, I hope you like this game. We have a lot of fun doing it. I especially like it when Mark loses. As you can tell, the streak is alive. If you want to see some more games, some more movie reviews, some more entertainment content, why not check some more of our videos down below? And who knows? Mark might win one day. We don't think so, <laughs> but he might. Ciao for now.